Without question, the world is moving toward electricity at a breakneck pace. Several manufacturers are pledging to halt or drastically reduce producing gasoline and diesel-powered cars and replace them with electric models. This, alongside the competitive nature of the automotive industry and the latest technological advancements, means there is always something new to see, both on the EEV and ICE front. However, before we begin our video, we would greatly appreciate it if you would subscribe to our YouTube channel and also press the bell icon. Let's get started. Number 1. Rolls-Royce Phantom The grandest and greatest luxury conveyance in motordom was replaced by Rolls-Royce in 2017 and given a glittering 5-star road test welcome by our road testers shortly thereafter. Owners will love it at least as much for the extravagant statement of wealth and status it endows and for the unmatched sense of occasion you enjoy when traveling in one. But while many won't ever know as much, the latest Phantom is also an utter joy and a rare pleasure to drive. Its superbly comfortable and singularly isolating ride comfort can be sampled from the back seats, of course, and is like nothing else you'll encounter in a car. Gently loping and deliciously indulgent feeling, but also supremely quiet and smooth, despite Rolls-Royce's fitment of the latest run-flat tire technology. Yet the precision feel and perfect weight of the car's large rim steering wheel is remarkable. Likewise, the ease with which you can place such a huge car on the road, the tolerance it has for whatever rate of progress suits your trip, the supreme refinement and flexibility of its V12 engine, and the progressiveness of its throttle pedal on step-off. Even though it's a near three-ton love song to splendid isolation, this car will accelerate from 0 to 100 miles per hour and from 30 to 70 miles per hour through the gears quicker than the last Ford Focus RS. The integrity of its engineering is simply breathtaking. Number 2. Rolls-Royce Ghost The Ghost was a line in the sand for Rolls-Royce when it appeared in 2009 the beginning of a transformation that took the company's annual production volume from hundreds of cars per year to several thousand. Now in its second generation, the Phantom's understudy has evolved substantially. Where the Ghost's mechanical underpinnings were once adapted from those of the BMW 7 Series, it now shares the same architecture of luxury platform as the Cullinan and Phantom. There are also innovations such as Rolls-Royce's mass dampers for the front suspension and an active anti-roll bar for the rear axle, both of which help bring ride quality closer than ever to that of the Phantom. However, while the Phantom is very much a car in which to be driven, the Ghost was intended as a car for the well-heeled driver, and its dynamic character reflects that. Slider totter riding and more agile than the Phantom Partly by virtue of its more compact proportions, it lends itself more readily to the cut and thrust of daily motoring on traffic-clogged UK roads than its bigger brother. And yet in terms of interior space, luxury ambience, and sheer material quality, the car sits only the smallest of rums below its bigger brother, adopting as it does Rolls-Royce's new post-opulence design approach, both inside and out. It's a neoclassical fortress on wheels, but a usable one. Number 3. Bentley Flying Spur Bentley's four-door Continental Series limousine started off its modern life as the Continental Flying Spur in 2006, only dropping the nomenclative prefix that links it with Crew's current two-door GT with its biggest model overhaul to date in 2014. But the Flying Spur is now in its third generation, something that's not difficult to detect from the prouder, more muscular design, which borrows heavily from the most recent, attractive Continental GT Coupé. Crew's Junior Saloon also benefits dramatically from a new platform, which was co-developed with Porsche and uses four-wheel steering and active anti-roll bars. It also better insulates the fantastically opulent cabin from the road and provides the basis for genuinely good driving dynamics, grip, balance and steering are all noticeably approved. Of course, there is the same calling card 6.0-liter twin-turbo D12, which makes 626 bat plus bottomless torque and fires the car to 62 miles per hour in comfortably less than 4 seconds and onto a top speed of more than 200 miles per hour. Versions of the spur equipped with Bentley's lighter, more freely revving V8 and a six-cylinder flying spur hybrid powertrain are also offered. 
the latter suits the big Bentley rather well, its near-silent progress in EV mode offering a sepulchral sense of calm when mooching. Yet when its V6 engine chimes in it's almost as quick as the V8, even if it doesn't have that engine's character. Never before has the spur felt so complete, then, and so able to execute the role of supersonic luxury driver's car. And much of that is still down to the cabin. Even though it's Bentley's entry-level limousine, the Flying Spur offers an interior of genuinely luxurious ambience and feel, kitted out as it is with soft, beautifully stitched leathers, authentic natural veneers, and eye-catching and tactile metal brightwork. Number 4. Mercedes Maybach S-Class The richest and most special car in what might be the most universally respected and admired limousine range in the world. The Mercedes Maybach S-Class is the modern standard bearer for Daimler's Maybach Super Luxury brand. To judge by appearances, you'd say it was at least as much S-Class as Maybach, and that's the result of Daimler's strategic decision, taken a few years ago, to broaden the reach of the Maybach mark by creating Halo Maybach models across some of its more normal Mercedes passenger car ranges. The ultra-rare Simon Cowell spec Maybach only 57 and 62 limousines were at the same time consigned to history. And so the fact that this car is only an S-Class may be at once its biggest strength and its key vulnerability. Compared with a Rolls-Royce or a Bentley, an S-Class might not cut a lot of mustard for drool-worthy curbside appeal. But being an S-Class also makes this car the recipient of all those advanced active suspension and driver assistance technologies and helps to make it so brilliantly refined, rich, and cosseting. The flagship S650 models 603 BAP twin-turbocharged petrol V12, though the UK will also get the 496 BAP 4.0-liter V8 at 580, is barely audible and its dedication to comfort and good manners is outstanding. At 18 cm longer than even the long wheelbase version of the standard S-Class, you can guarantee that even the longest-legged passengers will have space aplenty. Number 5. Rolls-Royce Cullinan Goodwood's Marmite addition to the super luxury segment arrived in 2018 in response to a significant amount of Rolls-Royce customer feedback that a more daily usable, all-surface-capable, family-practical model would be a very welcome way to augment the firm's showroom range. The Cullinan has been met by enough criticism of its design, from all quarters, to have set in aspic, a sense that its maker has taken a significant risk in introducing a car that some have described as awkward and unlovely and others have slammed in even less sympathetic terms. But if Rolls-Royce's market research holds true, and a year's worth of confirmed orders is a good sign that it will, the collective revulsion of those who wouldn't have bought a Cullen in any way will do little to prevent it from becoming a commercial success. There is certainly as much to like about life on board this car as there might be to dislike about either the idea or the appearance of it. This is a true Rolls-Royce and among its dynamic strengths are outstanding mechanical refinement, unimpeachable ride comfort, and excellent drivability. High adjustable air suspension and BMW, derived four-wheel drive gives the Cullinan all the off-road capability that many owners are likely to require. And while towing capacity is currently capped at 2.6 tons, it's due to increase to a more fulsome 3.5 tons before long which is probably enough for a speedboat considerably more expensive than the car. So that's it for today. If you find this video helpful, please give it a big thumbs up and share it with others. Also, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our channel. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our new uploads. In the end, thanks for watching and see you next time.